《最终生还者二》出了一个重置啊。嗯，我们今天来玩一下它的全新的模式，好像有一个叫什么呀？失去的关卡，本来是打算呢放在游戏里面的，但是可能游戏太长了吧，他就把这些关卡给删了。所以现在在这个地方可以稍微的玩一下，我们就来玩这些好了。那如果你是没有看过原本的剧情的话呢，你可以看回我之前老吴的这个连载啦，可以说是这个游戏界呢。<笑>非常震撼的一个、啊、故事流程呢，我也不想多说。<笑>来，我们来玩玩一下这个，好了。You're about to play an unfinished level from The Last of Us Part Two. Oh, Jackson Party. The reason we added this section is there are a few sequences, and we picked the three of the best ones. That we cut from the game. You know, often we build a game that's much bigger than what ends up being the final product. There are months away from being finished, but we wanted to give you an insight of what it's like when we built the game. Because often we have this whole thing constructed, and it doesn't have final art or audio or dialogue. And、oh. here you get to see the building blocks of what it's like when we first string a bunch of these levels together. This is the intro to the first deleted level, and this one is the roughest of the three. We want to show more of how Jackson operates. So this is the festival、Ooh. where Ellie ultimately kisses Dina. The sequence would have come very late in the game as a flashback sequence while you're in the farm with Dina. And we wanted to show what is the rest of Jackson doing. Oh, it's that good. Put it on the stick, make it interactive, so you could see. When you're outside, there are all these almost like carnival games that you can play. You could mix drinks. You could play with these kids that are playing a sort of clicker Marco Polo. Sit down and listen to conversations, and all the different interactions were first or second pass, very very early passes. The building blocks are there, but nothing is final. And ultimately, while we were very excited by the sequence, it's pretty fun and lighthearted. It just slowed things too much as we're barreling towards the end of the story at this point. So again, reminder:、oh. rough, missing audio, missing animation, missing gameplay tweaks, missing dialogue, but pretty representative of what it would have been. So enjoy. Oh, then, 对白的没有啦，就是把你扔在这里，给你自己玩的嘛。哦，只有字幕罢了。嘿，你是。因为你拿着麦克风嘛。Hello， 连他的动画都没有弄好。好吧，上吧。嗯。Originally, this level was going to transition us to farm. We would go all the way through to the dance where Ellie and Dina share their first kiss. Then we would play through farm, and when Ellie plays the guitar at night, she would remember the Seth incident. So, the opening for this was a little tricky. We needed it to match at least a little, what you might expect emotionally coming from prior beats, because we were already purposefully disorienting you in time and space. Remember, you just came from this huge fight. To jump straight into it would have been a little too jarring.、Oh. After some back and forth, we rooted it in Ellie's nerves, calling back to her hands shaking in the theater. But this time, for a much more innocuous reason, we'll find out later. She's nervous because she has a crush on Dina, who is the only reason why she's here at the dance. Something we really wanted to do was highlight the way their lives had turned upside down since she went down this path. We had this idea of recontextualizing all of our usual gameplay mechanics that were designed for really violent ends: the workbench, door bashes, throwable weapons, and even the infected, which is my personal favorite. Peppered throughout the level are moments of levity or shared history, all the while seeing how happy and mundane they all were before her huge revenge odyssey. 你看到这些人，那游戏可以玩的吗？这是什么？可以选酒哦，<笑>按下制作，哇，还可以自己调哎，好屌哦！哎，<笑>后面的人，<笑>他的脸，他的动画都没有弄好了。没有错的话，这个游戏如果你之前有买 PS 4的话，现在好像是是十美金啊，是多少钱啊？可以升级这个版本。但是我之前玩是电脑版的，没有错是吧？我好像是玩电脑版的，所以这个就这干嘛？他帮我画这个。
是的，没错。这哪里算是刺青啊？我先加一点。The makeup artist is pretty simple. 化妆 It's one of those little in-game scenes we peppered in to make it feel like Ellie had roots in the town. Hallie, our writer, mentioned that in her mind, an ex-girlfriend of Ellie's tattooed her arm to cover up her scar. So we figured this might be the only time you get to see that. We wanted to hint at it and allude to it and make it feel like there had been so much more that had been happening and so much more that Ellie threw away. 来吧，搞一下。这个玩这玩这有一点像玩那个那个那个蜘蛛侠的那个，然后呢，三颗球一定要扔完呢，有你的。少啰嗦，这游戏不公平。It is not a festival without one of these throwing games. This one, of course, uses our throwable system, where you're often chucking explosive things or stunning. 就这么贵。But for a more wholesome purpose, <笑> some people take this game really seriously. 还假装他是僵尸。A fun aspect of this is if you did well, you could win a toy. 超可爱。Ellie would place it in her pocket. If you had done this, you'd find the toy with JJ, the baby,、oh. later back at the farm. When we cut this, the toy made it through anyway because it was so cute. It is the same one you see on the tractor at the farm, Ollie the elephant. Oh, you 干嘛？做到你了。啊！哼。啊？到我假装僵尸了吗？哦，到我被抓。<笑>好温馨啊，这个。哎，然、啊、后还有什么东西呀、啊？哇，这间大教堂、啊。哎。吼，汤。就这样不了吗？应该是吧，感觉就是。他一整个，看下第二个好了，这是哪一个时间段的这个 U？ In this second deleted level, which is an extended sequence of the sewers in Seattle, this comes on the heels of where Ellie goes into a building and she、um, survives an attack by. Stalkers and gets thrown out of the window and gets swept away by the current, and then we cut the section that used to be there in the final game. Now you will get to play it. So this was a way to get a bit more interesting puzzles, interesting traversal, figure out how Ellie can navigate the sewers with the fighting current. Ultimately, with a lot of these levels and these sequences, the reason why we cut them were for pacing purposes. But here it is for you in this very kind of raw form. That part of it will feel finished. Parts of it will feel like assets are missing. As far as audio animation won't be final, but it's a glimpse into what a game looks like when it's months away from finishing. Enjoy. I get to see it once. Before that, this one. Ouch! 
爬在旁边呢。哇，不错嘛。This level, internally known as Fine Nora, is quite long in duration as we had to make Ellie traverse a far distance to the opposite side of downtown Seattle. The sewer section was originally longer than what we released the game with, approximately 10 minutes more. This was one of the few areas of the game that used water flow as part of the traversal puzzle. I had to go upstream to use the current to get to the platform to reach the other side. We mostly cut this mechanic game wide. However, it remained in essence in the section swimming to the aquarium as Ellie, when you were avoiding the waves. Go to the other side. From there, go up. Wow, good. This card. Yeah. 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 When players reach the doorway and enter into the room, they are faced with a dead end. Tell you, do me, but the real reason for this dead end room is that on the reversal, when exiting back out of the doorway, players are faced with the route onwards, a pipe that they've not been able to see when they were swept past it on the way in, and something that was hidden from view when on the side platforms. The intention here being that the only option is to go off the standard path in order to search for a way out. When players reach the doorway and enter into the room, they are faced with a dead end. The real reason for this dead end room is that the reversal when exiting back out of the doorway. Players are faced with the route on the pipe that they've not been able to see when they were swept past it on the way in, and something that was hidden from view when on the side of the path. Give me the hell out of here! The intention here being that the only option is to go off the standard path in order to search for a way out. Throughout the rest of the level, we also use light to indicate to the player that they were heading in the right direction. At each turn, however, we block the direct route forward. Players would know that they just have to keep finding alternative paths, promoting those feelings of being desperate and trapped. We slowly introduce the player to consider climbing into smaller pipes and crouching in these tight spaces. This is up to slowly out. build up to and encourage keep going up the player to climb into such a small pipe that they'd have to be crawling on their stomach, which is something that the player previously may not have recognised as a playable space, let alone the desired route they need to take. We added a tiny space just to reward the player's exploration with a pickup item, and we made sure it was something that made sense that you'd find in this area: a canister and all the garbage that had been washed into the sewers from the surface. Wow! 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 As it was a great opportunity to use our pro mechanic, the unique camera setup was created for crawling in these pipes. As the standard pro camera is much higher above the player, we also created custom collision in order for Ellie to maneuver in these tight spaces easily. Initially, the oblong collision capsule around the character caused issues crawling around corners. We put extra effort into the custom corner collision, so the movement experience is as smooth as the main game. In order for the player to feel cramped, claustrophobic, and desperate, we'd been enforcing the traversal mechanics that allow for a tight environment, which promote these feelings. We introduced the use of the squeeze through so that we can keep the player feeling enclosed and tight, but without repeating the same geometry. Here, we change from low ceilings with wide walls to high ceilings and tight walls to change up the spatial pacing and keep the level from repeating itself. Too hard, too hard. So you say to play a simple game? 你还要思考啊，镜头尽量不要重复啊！哎呦，真的好窄哦，背。Originally, we had the water line much higher here, so players had to swim through this tight tunnel. However, from watching user test feedback, it was occasionally causing people to discount the route entirely and turn back on themselves. So, to avoid any risk of this happening in the final game, we present a lower water level so the tunnel is easy to see and commit to using. Although this isn't as impactful without the prone swim, it's the better decision as it means a smooth experience for the player with no backtracking frustration. As we surface from the water and over the crest of the slope, we reveal what is further in this tunnel: a clicker that has sprouted and the fungus has grown on the sides of the pipe. It was great to see people who used the test of this area becoming increasingly worried as we forced the player to squeeze past the fungus and inches away from the clicker's face, all the time not being sure whether the clicker might be alive or attack them. Although we aren't as cruel as to force a clicker attack in such close proximity, we do have a payoff for this moment. 
This clicker momentarily turned Fuck. into Joel Come to show on. Ellie's PTSD from what happened to Joel at the start of the game. Ultimately, we decided to save this moment for the farm level, as it was more impactful there because it could become the centerpiece of that experience. Whereas in the sewers, we weren't able to make it as much of a narrative point and give it the breathing room and reaction time that it deserves, given the tight space. We draw the player towards this pipe, as it is seemingly the route out of the tight space. Fairly soon, it is obvious that this path is blocked. If the player goes all the way up to the bars that block the path, they are rewarded with a pickup, so this journey doesn't feel wasted. It was important to encourage the player to try to progress along this path so that it would subtly be thinking of progress in this direction. We hint to the player that there is a bigger, new space beyond this pipe by showing the player the waterfall. This helps players consider the other routes and don't know how far the tunnel is or whether they'd make it. Mm. Mm. <笑>哎呦來啊哇這裡真的是很壓迫哎呦這個好像倒了遙控器你不要玩我啊嗯啊啊啊啊啊啊啊啊啊啊啊啊啊啊啊啊啊啊啊啊啊啊啊啊啊
parts of it are still really rough, but the gameplay, the building blocks were all there. I think you'll have fun to see, like, a, again, a rough, unfinished sequence um, of, that you can play. You can see all the way to the end, and including a cinematic that we end up cutting. Oh? And、uh, the remnants of the sequence ended up being mentioned in Ellie's journal. So, this part of the, the story that we developed still made its way into the game as kind of optional stuff that you could read about, but、oh. here you get to experience it. So, as a reminder, this is pretty rough, months away from being finished,、uh, but you get to see it now. Mmm. <laughs> So, the boar hunt was one of the hardest levels for me to work on. It was a huge challenge with the systems that we had, and we kept trying, but it never felt quite right. Originally, the level happened after the Jackson Festival, which also got cut, but before Farm. Once the festival got cut, it became the prologue to Farm. The intended experience is that we jump forward in time after the fight with Abby in the theater. We don't know where Dina is, we likely assume she's dead because she was just bleeding out. Ellie is alone, her hair is short, so maybe this is the future or the present. And she's hunting. Hunting who? Abby still?、Oh. In early iterations of the fight, it was more arena like. The player slowly whittles down the boar's health. Ellie gets more visceral and more vicious. We get a little worried about her. As the boar gets weaker, more panicked, more feral, and we start feeling sympathetic to the boar, was the hope. Uh, in all of these iterations, especially of these wider areas, it required custom AI and scripting to make sure it continued to feel organic as an animal, but we really needed it to do specific stuff. It needed to be able、wow. to close distances really, really quickly. It needed to charge to attack, but we wanted the feeling of hunting, so we needed to track it down from afar. And we also needed to discourage the player from attacking the boar when it's that close, or it would kind of turn into this melee kerfuffle. How do we do this in our world while keeping the boar believable? We must have gone through five or、gotcha. six iterations of the boar fight and all, and every single time it changed pretty drastically. We split it into clear phases where one was like all long range. We tried another where you're getting close and you get the jump on it quite literally. You're jumping off of a rock <laughs> to attack it.、Uh, and then finally, we tried a bunch where you almost sort of、uh, go around a bunch of trailers and try and, try and wrestle it. We uncovered after some time that taking down a boar over several phases felt very laborious and a little dramatic. It was comically long. It felt too boss like,、uh, a little too gamey. We decided to cut the first few phases and we opted for a cold open after the boar had already been hurt off screen. So that allowed us to focus on feeling like we're close. The gas station was built to highlight the boar's destructiveness. Since it's cramped, the boar feels larger. We also feel trapped with it, though perhaps it's trapped with us. When it charges, it gets to us quickly, so we must be on our toes. This made it more aligned with Ellie's story, hunting for trouble in my life. Listening is important, as well as moving around slowly so it can hear you. Could you spot it before it saw or heard you? And could you get a shot off quickly enough so you could dodge out of the way? Or is the shot worth the cost after? It feels like a gamble. By the end of the fight, everything would likely be in shambles. The boar would burst through the back, and Ellie would follow it and finally enact revenge. Hmm. What's your mean, though? Shoot! Got you. Whoa! What's that reaction? Whoa! How much blood? 拉过去，拉过去。在树影台后面吧。嗯嗯嗯，来、嗯、呀！就、哎，小贩。哇哦，又又又 ！Nowhere to run。我去哪？我救命了！他已经受伤了。房间里面。The boar kill was supposed to be anything but glorious. With the boar whimpering at the back of the gas station after Ellie's relentless hunt. After this, hearing the drone that we kind of come to associate with Ellie's trauma, we would hard cut to the stream where she's washing her hands and holding rabbits that she hunted, about to return to Dina. And there would be no mention of the boar. Oh. <sighs> 
完完啦！<笑>幕后花絮，这是什么？哇，还有一堆 podcast， 什么制什么制作实录，开发过程的影片。This is the longest, most ambitious game in the studio's history. That's a big challenge to take on. Ah, so many people to make a game. The Last of Us was this beloved game that won all these awards. So many people were like, "Last of Us." This feeling I'm not going to finish. They shouldn't make a sequel. 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 They 一连串就是看你可以打半关卡，制定，哦，每日，啊点 ，OK OK， 玩个普通先吧，我可以选角色的呢，哦，这些是要完成什么？完成 e l i t 挑战 A B， 我、哦呃、No， 当然是用它啦，用什么 A B 哦？哦，我不说我忘记什么玩了，哦哦。计划版，还有计划版呢，上去，打完，工作台，嗯，啥都没有，然后这里啊，计划版，嗯，要选不同的，先选第一个吧，解决每一波敌人，哎呦。我连怎么玩都不知道了，还要我解决美波敌人？哦，攻击来袭，他从什么方向来啊？鬼懂啊！完了完了！哎呦，什么方向来啊？哪里来啊？哦，哦，可以进去吗？这里？来呀、啊、来呀、啊、！Hello， 黑车，快点！连什么玩意都忘记了。Take her down！ 怎么玩都忘记了啊！这款游戏，哇！呜，快跑！怎么玩？我忘记怎么玩了，这款。多东西捡了，喂！给吓死了！这么久没有，完了还要。这是第一波不了吗 ？Nice！ 哦，完了，第二波了，现在找出补给，走走走走走。OK， 快点。倒是跑啊，用什么劲跑啊？这个跳很尴尬、啊，这个跳。嗯，补给是这样啊，这样玩啊。哇，这么快第二波了啊！哇，还可以制作雪包哦，随时做了哦，我可以前行了。哎，我扔去那边就好了吗？啊 ？Think we've got her？ 
我厉害哦，他的 AI， 他知道我从这里丢了。这个 AI 忘记了啊，顽皮狗啊，顽皮狗的 AI 很屌了。其他的游戏啊，完了，其他游戏，其他游戏啊，从我这里看我从这里扔过去啊，<笑>走到对面了。Hello， surprise， man， forget。名字也是蛮好用的。喂，哦，三朵，哇，这是怎么玩的哦？但还好它有什么？预战完成是什么鬼啊？又是，然后就给你看你的评分多少？因为我觉得难度是一点多 B。呃。什么？玩多两场就可以结了，你哪？哎，这样子玩的，就有一点像那个《恶灵古堡》的那个什么模式，是吧？那个比较爽一点。这个啊，因为老吴太菜了啊，给你们看不到那种非常、非常震撼的那种格斗啊。没办法，让我们回来这里，我们要升级奖励。哇，好多，这个还通关了。然后你就一直强化你的，我要十个哎、欸，可以换一把远程的枪，搞一把新武器。然后他的蛋呢？我、哦、可以升级，等枪，四十。看你要射速、稳定、后坐力，搞一搞，很强很强。OK， 然后是继续看你要玩回一样的吗？前面还可以再玩吗？应该是新的吧。然后你要玩，这接下去玩什么？追杀。哦，有伙伴呢。哎呦哎呦哎呦哎呦哎呦哎呦哎呦哎呦！怎么知道我在这的？你怎么知道我在这的？哇！呜，有什么事？我爆他的头！还有谁？呜！开灯了，我开灯，看不到啊！拿个东西先。起来，走起！关灯灯，窜出去，去找他玩。我去找他玩啊！跳过去这里是不是把他搞了吗？对呀、啊，这么简单。嗯。哇哦！哇哦！哇哦！哇哦！哇哦！还有谁？哇哦！杀！哇哦！哇！哇！哇！好痛！好痛！好痛！越来越多人了，他时间。哦。哇哦！救我！好多人哦，好多人哦！哎，哦，他是计时的，他不是全部杀，可能是每一个关不同的吧。这个关是看你可以杀多少个人呢、啊？这样我一定是烂了，一定是 C 哦。喂，还是 B 耶？咦，也是不错的嘛，老吴。你完成两场了，我、哦、还有新的造型啊。卧薪的强化，晋升战，按什么？什么意思？卧薪针呢？肉搏强化，回复的耐力，学习，还学招啊！我、哦、可以制造消音哎，好屌好屌！这个是感染者了，可是他为什么烧去了？他那个纸，我、哦、因为我往下走了，看我往上走的话。它上面的纸已经烧去了啊，然后继续走，走到后面有个 boss 的，我的武器从上一轮呢会接下来先到现在了，哇，这个关好玩啊，这个从原本游戏的时候这关就好玩了
，就是它有屋内啊、屋外啊、户外又有草啊、又有狗啊，搞不好消音，可以射三次不了吧？嗯，出去。呜、嗯，哎，看到一个了。看来我消音可以把它一口直接毙了嘛？应该是可以的吧？老吴，你的枪。对呀、啊，老吴，你的枪很准的。Hello。啊？啊？我杀！呼！我杀！呼！呼！哇，痛啊！杀！呼！哦。我杀！哈哈！哇！呜呜呜呜呜！好痛好痛好痛！打个血打个血！完了，我要在这里收便当啊！我在这里收便当啊！怎么办？不可能！不可能！呀！老吴，你屌我老吴！这个才 normal mode 呢、啊！快跑快跑！拿东西拿东西！进进进进进进进！是时候给他玩火拼了！哈哈哈！补给箱，哇哇，拿了一大堆，有的没的，死了你！买子弹呢？哎呀，三块钱呢？这什么来着？铁管呢？做什么地雷呀、啊？哦，我可以刷新这几个东西，它就是每一轮，它这几个东西你可以买。那如果你要刷新这一整排的话，就要浪费三。买那个蛋了。Shit！ Hello。哇，我的傻蛋很屌吧？喊喊喊喊屁喊！我都还没有喊你喊呢、啊。帮我。哦，这么准呢，好屌啊，老吴，你越来越屌啊！啊、哦、呜，很痛！你抓回去，别露一下视线。这个这个这个，我先开枪。Got you on your right。呜，难用啊，遥控器。啊！死亡后无法再复活，获得武器会重置。然后呢？就是什么都没有了哇 ！D 呀、啊，老吴 ，Donkey 呀、啊，解锁新人物了。它的特性哦，就是每一个人会不一样的，有些是用闪光，当然有些是制定关卡。我、哦、还有排行榜哎，本级最高。嗯，挑战什么？哦，不是啦，这就是我玩刚才那个关卡，哇，很多人呢、啊，还有桃妹可以玩，呃、啊，可以用九哎，明白了明白了，好啦，我们的最终生还者二重置版完了这里啦，那、嗯、可能他这个关卡直播的时候玩也是蛮不错的，嗯，我们先玩到这啦，嗯，希望你们会喜欢，好，我们下个影片见，拜。